Fellow adventurer, let's go to Nyati Echo Game Park. So I had to wake up super duper early, about 4 a.m. for five latest, as I wanted to take part in the lion walking experience. That is the only activity that you need to be mindful of, as all the other activities are flexible and can be done randomly throughout the day. The lion walk is done twice a day, as lions don't walk when it's too hot. Therefore, the activity is done at 8:30 a.m. and any time after 3:30 p.m. when it cools down. So it was a great opportunity for me to catch the sunrise, which was so beautiful. Also, the roads were not too full at the time, which was great. The best time to arrive if you're not taking part in the morning lion walking activity is between 10.30 a.m. and 12.30 a.m. It is a 2 hour 23 minute drive that being 144.6 kilometers away from Harare via the Mutare Road. So let's say about 3 hours away taking into account traffic and the narrow roads. But finally we arrived and you must pre-book by deposit of 30 US dollars for a day visit. No walkings are allowed and all bookings must be secured. It's strictly by appointment firmed with a deposit balance on arrival the staff was not very warm and friendly but special mention to the man at the gate who served us he was very warm and very receptive such that the cold welcome that we received upon arrival into the facilities was a bit unexpected it's a beautiful place though the food was way too overpriced and the website doesn't provide enough or adequate information in terms of the pricing mr dennis however was super nice nonetheless you are sort of forced to take part in the game drive through the deposit that you pay which i did not really take to mind as i wanted to take part in the game drive but for someone who isn't interested in the game drive that kind of sucks the place provides overnight accommodation though charlotte's which are not urban they are not self catering in any way meaning you have to buy food from them if you bring food from outside whether for a day visit or overnight stay you are forced to pay a steep price for bringing outside food they have other activities that include cable car horse riding pony riding jet ski speed boating small boating mud pulling canoeing paddle boating walking with lions lion interaction big cat viewing nature walks cub interaction fishing bird watching lion feeding golf beach volleyball bush soccer picnic snake interaction rock painting tours amongst others all in all i spent 95 US dollars they did not have any change so they wrote on my receipt that they owed me change but till today they have not given me my five usd change even though i've been messaging them and asking them to send me my money oh my god but i'd say that the lion walking experience and the big cat interaction was pretty awesome so i'm not too mad about the other things that they did do to me so they need to give me my change they need to do better with customer service and hospitality in general and i'd say eat outside if you're not willing to pay that amount of money or come full <laughs> otherwise the experience with the lions was absolutely amazing anyway as you can see we're working with lions let's get it It's absolutely important for you to keep in touch and keep in tune with the instructions and guidelines that you'll be given by the guides. These people have been going through their job for over five years now. So they have some sort of experience. So if they say no dangly things, no dangly things. If they say don't scream, don't laugh, don't 
no certain movements, no certain sounds. Just keep cool, keep calm, and do exactly what they tell you to do. Yeah, we don't want any disasters. <laughs> Try and keep in tune with what it is that they're instructing you to do. I'm getting videos and photos taken with the big cats this is part of the package that comes with big cat interaction which is pretty cool and so much fun shout out to the guys though they were very friendly and very accommodating and they made me calm down because at some point in time i was freaking out but you know they read to me the rules and explained to me the things i should do and shouldn't do and the rest was history it was a pretty cool calm exciting experience So as part of the interaction with big cats, you get to feed them. This was exciting but terrifying but exciting. <laughs> you can see by the way I'm petting this cat. I think, what was his name? Haji? Yes, then his name was Haji. And I'm petting him with a touch of fear and caution. <laughs> I can safely say I learned a lot of new Shauna words that I didn't know existed. Okay, but it was pretty cool. <laughs>
the game drive lasted about 30 to 45 minutes we saw several animals they don't have many 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 like emire but they do have quite a number of animals and different species and different types of game animals <laughs> yeah it was, it was like So yeah fellow adventurer this technically brings me to the end of my video after the game drive i didn't want to do any other activities i really wasn't enjoying the vibe of the place in terms of the um, hospitality and warmness so i just started to explore the place a little bit and then head out so that was my experience at nyati echo game park let me know your thoughts and let me know if you would go and visit the place as well alrighty guys thank you so much for coming to my uh, thank you so much for watching my video and coming through to my channel I'll see you in my next upload if you like this type of content please do let me know in the comment sections I'll definitely do more footage uh, videos like this thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again bye god bless